Hello. Hi. Hello. Could you do us a favor? Would you please cut the funding for tobacco prevention programs? Unless you want to save money. For every one dollar spent on tobacco prevention, you could save fifty in healthcare costs. California did. They saved eighty-six billion dollars over the past fifteen years. They did it by funding tobacco prevention programs. Wow, that's a lot of money. You can cut funding because tobacco companies don't spend any money in New Jersey. Oh, actually, tobacco companies spend two hundred thirty-one million dollars a year in advertising in New Jersey. You can cut the money for prevention because it isn't doing much good. Except once New Jersey started spending money on tobacco prevention, teen smoking rates dropped. Dropped. They plummeted. Plummeted. Over eighty-four percent of New Jersey teens don't smoke. Maybe we shouldn't cut our funding. The CDC, the federal government, recommends forty-five million a year be spent on tobacco prevention and cessation. New Jersey receives one point one billion dollars in tobacco money. Let's use some of that to prevent people from getting addicted. So much good can be done. So much good is being done. Prevention saves money in healthcare costs. And more importantly, it saves lives. Over eleven thousand people in New Jersey die each year because of tobacco. That's too many. Our states and our country face new challenges every day: pollution, the economy, safety, energy. But the challenges we face in tobacco haven't gone away. That's why prevention is so important. Remember what we're facing. Remember the youth of New Jersey. Remember us. Remember my cousin, my niece, my brother. Because big tobacco companies sure haven't forgotten about us. With your support, tobacco prevention programs can keep doing great things for New Jersey. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for listening to us. Thank you. Yeah, maybe cutting funding wasn't my best idea. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs>